Well, it is now 22 hours and 36 minutes into the 20th day of April 2021, and I, I forgot to press the record button once again. So I didn't really know exactly uh, what I was filming and when I was filming it. <laughs> uh, it, it. It's been a bizarre last few days. This is where I get into an I was talking about an alt state earlier. I am uh, uh, on the scooter once again, but the thing is, I wasn't. I didn't scoop. I didn't uh, ride back because uh, my mind simply wasn't in the state to do that. And in other words, it's not safe to drive at that particular point in time. So I didn't drive. Oh, I didn't drive my scooter back. So, but nonetheless, here we are. Uh, we're going to end the vlog. Not really ending the vlog, but transitioning. Uh, and I, I haven't watched. Uh, apparently, I haven't watched the, done the YouTube stroll in a couple of days because. I do have some binge watching to do on the Yowie vlogs. I, have, I think I have three vlogs I've missed. That's about three days, and they produce they, they produce every day. So I missed three days, uh, including today. I missed three days, so I have to catch up on that. Uh, things are going well enough. I think this is thing I've upgraded that now there isn't really a break between days anymore. In other words. I have enough progress within the day that uh, the fatigue doesn't knock me out for more than a couple of hours. I had to think about that for a bit. It does knock me out. I still do have periods of time where I have to sleep a lot. And that's why sometimes I'm up three or four times uh, during the day. Uh, and there we go, during the day again. It's this. It's just, there is no day. Like, I'm, I'm up now. I'll be going to bed in a little bit because my body's starting to get tired. Uh, but I was just up for, uh, uh, for I think, six hours now. Uh, I was up earlier uh, from seven till uh, just about uh, noon. That was another five hours. And it shifts. I'm going to be up again. Probably around eight o'clock in the morning for uh, for meditation. Uh, uh, there's another meditation service at, at around eight o'clock in the morning that will last till just about uh, ten thirty eleven. So I won't be going back to bed again until just about noon. And then uh, there's laundry to do. In other words, uh, it, it, there is enough to do that. Sometimes I'm up and down several times uh, a day, transitioning back and forth between being awake and being asleep. And of course, being asleep means I'm working in the dream realm, I'm doing exploration there. <clears throat> There's a little bit of something to drink. I've done enough editing that the ride vlogs are back again. So I just posted a ride vlog last... Uh, actually, not... I posted a ride vlog last night. It was just a few hours ago. But I, it, I feel like it's been a whole day or so since I uploaded it. But I didn't... I, I edited it and uploaded it uh, while I was at my parents' house. As a matter of fact, I did an enormous amount of... Uh, offloading and off my, off my device and cleared up an, an enormous amount of room on there so I can do a lot more editing. So in other words, you know, the, the progress is being made, but again, when I'm, uh, my awareness of when I'm actually doing the work is, is, is disappearing. It's just, I'm not aware of that I've actually got that work done. And this is what causes a large chunk of, uh, uh, of the issue when I miss days that my day is off and I'm just sort of now what day is it today? Because sometimes I have the uh, sort of the the feeling that I've had three days when it's only been one day. Now I, I didn't really notice how long I've missed and it's been three days I've uh, missed the uh, YouTube stroll. So 
My awareness of time over the last few days has been, has been significantly off. Uh, hopefully I can try to reorient myself and sort of get myself back into some degree of, of realization, but who knows, maybe that's not the case right now. So, uh, anyways, uh, I am rambling because I really don't know where I am in terms of what to say and where the conversation is going and where it started from. Uh, but anyways, on with the Yowie Vlogs and on with the YouTube stroll. Chugging along is not only a phrase, but it's also a perspective. <laughs> um, I'm just taking a break from the YouTube stroll. I'm finishing up at Family Five Vlogs here. Uh, I did some editing on my phone for the next uh, vlog that's going up. It's the uh, vlog for March 27th. Uh, I don't seem to be able to get any closer than uh, three weeks in. Uh, that's where we are now. We're just just outside the three-week mark. Uh, I did my meditation this morning. I did the gaming this morning. Uh, I did some gaming when I got up again around 6 o'clock in, in the evening. And now I just watched some TV, had a little something to eat. Uh, I'm making these nice pizza subs. These are very nice out of hamburger buns. Uh... And now I'm going back for more meditation. There is another meditation service uh, in a few minutes. Or actually, I'm a little late to it now. Uh, that will take me about a half hour, 45 minutes. And then I'll come back here and continue uh, with my uh, my uh, meditation service. Uh, with, the, <laughs> with the YouTube stroll. I mean, that's, just, that's the way things go. I mean, you're talking along... You don't think things, are, think things are getting done, but they are getting done. It's just a slow process. That's that's all it is. That's just kind of the way things go, is that things aren't always going to be as smooth as you think they're going to be, or nor are they going to be as quick-paced. Thirty-three minutes into the twenty-third day of April, two thousand twenty-one. I don't know what happened to April twenty-second. Uh, if I did vlog at all, I just was in a very bizarre mood again. Uh, altered states. Things were good. They, 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 I can't say they were bad. Uh, I was uh, in a hole stuck in, the, in a sort of a writer's block for more than a month and a half and I was able to get out of it uh, uh, on April 22nd on what I think is yesterday although it's just a few hours ago but I'm ending the day in sort of a down mode because while you have successes you also have uh, failures and it's just what happens is that It's a, once again, it's a sort of the expectation and sort of the under, understanding that people have limitations in their understanding and that you try to bring a sense of understanding to, let's say, a particular situation. But in many cases, the understanding is limited. And when it's limited, uh, the only thing you can do is sort of sit back and wait for whatever incident is going to occur and then try to do some uh, basically salvage work afterwards, try to sit down and, and, and sort of figure a way through the repair. Because you know things are going to be damaged, but just how bad it is and how you're going to sort of work around the various different issues uh, that uh, will be presented uh, down the road. And you have no idea what issues they're going to be, just you know that they're going to be issues. Uh, you have some feeling for it, but this the reality of it and sort of the feeling of, of, of it is just two totally different things and it's kind of again it goes back to the game boards mobile goes back goes back to the game QLARP uh, the, sort of the gaming understanding that that things are not done quickly this isn't uh, well I'll spend a couple hours I'll play a game and I'll win the game at the end and walk away 
the game doesn't end. It, 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 this Lord of Mobile doesn't end. There, there is no real end to the game. Uh, you can sort of see where the end might be, but uh, how close you're going to get to it is any, any, kind of anyone's guess. And same thing with QLARP. Uh, there really isn't an end to the game. It's sort of how you position yourself. And the thing is, in QLARP, because you're fighting evil with, with information and knowledge, with wisdom and knowledge, um, it's not about your own accolades. It's not about how people celebrate you. It's about the end result. Do you, uh, you know, you, you can't, maybe, you can't always avoid total destruction, but if you can avoid some of the nastiness that could have been there if you haven't done anything, then that is a, that's, that's a positive, but it doesn't, it doesn't sort of negate or, or eliminate the, the feelings that you could have or should have done more to sort of change the direction that things were going in. And this is true when somebody dies, you know, from, from what, even, if, even when they commit suicide, you know, well, I've known people who, who, who reportedly commit su reportedly committed suicide, and the fact goes to the mind. Well, what could I have done to sort of, sort of change this? What, what could I have done to sort of sort of you know change the outcome so that it wasn't as tragic as it was? The you know maybe the person would be alive, but and you go over and over again the things the different things you possibly could could have done. Maybe the mistakes you made that day. Sometimes, you know, someone wants to talk to you, but you're too tired, you, you, you're not feeling, you, you, you're not feeling well sometimes. Sometimes you're not feeling well, particularly my myotonic dystrophy, the, the, the neurological disorder. There are times I just, you know, I went into, like, today, I went to my parents' house. I was fine going. I was planning to kind of take my scooter back, and something happened after dinner. I just, the, the, the myotonic dystrophy just sort of kicked in, and, Laid me out, and uh, I didn't end up coming back. Uh, uh, by well, I came back by car, not by scooter. Uh, around eleven o'clock in the evening, just much later than I had an anticipated. I did the gaming on up after that. Uh, I I didn't do any of the meditation I was supposed to do today in terms of the prayer meditation. In terms of the fasting meditation, uh, that's still going, still doing all right with that. But I said. I'm talking to you now, but I'm sort of in a very weird state because my eyes aren't open because I can't, I really can't keep them open. It's a difficult time for me to open my eyes and sort of, because it, it takes too much energy. But we'll end up seeing what, how the, the vlog for the 23rd goes in terms of what we end up having compared to what we had on the 22nd. We're in the 23rd now, we're just like an hour, just a little, uh, about an hour and a half into the day. I'm doing my YouTube stroll, and uh, from then I'm gonna tr from there I'm gonna transition uh, into the sleep world. That's where I think that things are heading now. But uh, I'm still this is the thoughts haven't left my mind. I'm still sort of working things over, uh, considering things where my next step is going to be, uh, and then. Again, I don't I don't necessarily know what's gonna happen from there on out. Well, it is uh, 11 hours and 26 minutes into uh, the 23rd day of April 2021. It's a Friday. Uh, I almost forgot we had done this earlier. I had come back and sort of had a bit of a chat with you guys. Um, we have two unpackagings. Um, Here we go. Let's do the first one that's in my hand. There's another big one over there as well, that same, just about the same size, so I'll do this one first. We'll get through the tape. Get through the tape, then that should be sufficient. So, this one seems like it's a bundle, but we'll see. We'll see. There's, you know, I'm not, I've left the bundle here and I'm now seeing. 
uh, a number of different things, so we'll see what it can be. And it looks like to me that this is a hand mixer. Okay, we've got that done. Now let's get this out, off. <laughs> now we're down to the bubble wrap. And, yep. It is a handheld mixer. So let's get this done. There we go. So that's what I got. This, this I think this is. This looks like a thousand watt. It's one of the two. I got one that's four hundred, and then I got one that's a thousand. So I don't know which one this is. So this is it here. And because it's from China, I don't have to necessarily worry about the packages packaging being in French or English. Because that, that's, not, that's not a factor. So let's get to the second package. Nice and big. So I find the hand blender is very useful. And I'm going to, I figured out how to make my own dry shampoo. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to be making my own... Uh, uh, my own, what you call it, uh, I don't know what this is. This is an amp. My own hand sanitizer. I figured out how to do it. Uh, I know the chemistry, so it's a matter of getting the equipment and getting down to doing it. So this is it here. This is the amplifier that I got. Uh, it's going to replace uh, several, ampli uh, several amplifiers in church. Uh, I'm creating. Uh, it's, it's when you're doing engineering work. You, there isn't pre-made stuff. You have to assemble it, and I tend to assemble out of uh, off-the-shelf materials to achieve the effect I want. It's not so. In other words, it's not about the brand name. It's about how the sound quality is. And what I'm doing is creating it's called an ambient environment where you're surrounded by them you're surrounded or immersed in the sound rather than having the sound uh, if you've ever been to a concert the sound is forced to you it comes into you from blasting from these speakers and of course when you leave the concert your, your ears are ringing and you know if they're not bleeding or whatever that's forced sound ambient sound is very pleasant to the ears it's very comforting uh, it is not loud. It is not obnoxious. It, it is, uh, as I said, it's the experience of being immersed in the sound. You feel like you're being bathed by the sound rather than being uh, drowned in, by the sound. So uh, that's the situation here. So both these things came in. Uh, I'm happy with that. So now it's a matter. It'll take me another month because I'm still waiting on parts. And this is the way it is. Uh, it's, it, once you, once you, you. you Order things in parts. It takes a while for things to get here, uh, but it's cheap. The the I'm spending in total. I'll be spending about three hundred dollars uh, for what I want. Where the closest price uh, to replace what's there already uh, would be four hundred and fifty. So I'm saving a uh, hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, if you hired an engineer who will come in to do this type of work, you're looking at uh, anywhere between forty and fifty thousand dollars. So I know the physics, I know the acoustics. See, an engineer will say this is uh, acoustical engineering, and I say no, it's not acoustical engineering. It's acoustical physics. And what happens is the engineer simply has the application of physics, knows some of the physics, not all the physics uh, behind the sound, and then works his way into the stuff. Uh, a scientist can do the same thing. If, if you're a physicist, 
you should have enough skill set uh, that you can design, do, you can do the engineering work yourself. Because the knowledge is certainly there. It's just a matter of, do you know how to put the stuff together in order to get the work to work? In other words, do you have the technical skills to do the engineering work? And I have that, so uh, it's no problem for me to sort of save the church uh, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 on a very expensive engineer when I can do the work myself for just whatever the part whatever the parts cost, so. Uh, that's it for now, and I'm off to do the YouTube stroll. Uh, this is where we are right now, and so I will see you, uh, probably later on tonight.